Today we're going to talk about 17 things about Thailand that you never knew. And yes, there might be some offensive things in here. So just a heads up. No, I'm just kidding. There won't be anything offensive. Maybe there will. Maybe there won't. I'm not sure. In Thailand, it's illegal to leave your house without underwear on. This quirky law, although rarely enforced, reflects the importance of modesty and personal hygiene in Thai society. And that leads me to my next one. I would drive around without my shirt all the time and it's actually illegal to drive around without your shirt. So make sure you get that shirt on. I had no idea at the time. I feel kind of bad about this now, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Siamese cats. Cats known for their striking blue almond shaped eyes and short fine coat are native to Thailand. And these elegant felines have a history of cultural significance in Thailand symbolizing good fortune and royalty. The reason they're called Siamese is because Thailand used to be called Siam. Thailand was changed to Thailand only in 1949, so before then it was called Siam. The term Siamese twins actually originates from Thailand. The term Siamese twins was inspired by Chang and Ang Bunker, Thai brothers born in 1811 who were co-joined at the chest. The world fame and toured with B.T. Barnum, becoming one of the world's most famous conjoined twin acts in history until their deaths in 1873. And back then, Thailand was called Siam. It wasn't called Thailand. That's where you get the term Siam. Mai Thai boxing, everyone knows it's, there's Mai Thai, it came from Thailand, but did you know Thailand's national sport is often referred to as the eight limbs because of fists, elbows, shins, and knees. That's eight, right? Yeah, eight. So this ancient martial art is deeply ingrained in Thai culture and it's both a sport and a way of life for many Thais. And I tried it when I was in Thailand and it was so much fun. I uh, absolutely say recommend it. If you go, they have them everywhere. Great exercise. I got so fit in Thailand. Okay, now this is kind of interesting. You don't see this in Canada and US. Thai society places paramount importance on hierarchy and respect for elders. So one of the most visible displays of this custom is keeping one's head lower than someone who's older than you. So I guess if you actually could insult someone, if you tilt your head to someone who's younger than you, I guess. This cultural norm underscores the Thai value of hierarchy and deference to those with more experience and or higher social standards. Did you know Thailand was the only Southeastern Asian country that was never colonized by European power? Back in the 19th century, when France was taking over countries like Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Britain colonized Burma, but Thailand managed to maintain its independence. The intelligent King Rama V actually ceded small little portions of land to the European powers to ensure peace. This is a great pride for a lot of Thais that they never got colonized. Bangkok actually used to be referred to as Venice of the East. The swampy lands around Cheo Preya River in central Thailand made it so the country's capital was built on stilts and used a complex system of canals as transportation waterways, earning Bangkok the name Venice of the East. Today, most of the canals have been filled in and are now city streets, but you can still see plenty of canals, particularly in the older parts of the city across the river in Thornbury, where people still traverse around boats, ferrying people around the region. This blew me away. Red Bull originated in Thailand. Though popular around the world, this caffeine-packed Red Bull energy drink known as Krating Dang in Thai was actually created in 1976 in Thailand where it has been a popular brand within the country ever since. The original syrup-like drink is quite different from the carbonated version the rest of the world knows and now you can find both within Thailand everywhere you go. It's actually illegal to make fun of the monarchy. Thailand still has a monarchy and royalty and if you make fun of any of the royal family you can actually get in a lot of trouble. It's illegal. In fact, John Oliver you might have heard of him. He actually made fun of the uh, the recent one of the recent family members of, in Thailand and said that John Oliver is undermining the sovereignty of Thailand. So they're quite offended and quite upset with John Oliver. So, anyways, don't make fun. If you're planning on going to Thailand. It's actually quite easy to get visas in Thailand. I was blown away. I literally walked into the visa extension center and walked out in about 10 minutes. I had my visa extension. It was super easy. I couldn't believe it. It was a breeze. A lot of places like Bali, for example, were such a nuisance to get your visa extension. But Thailand, super easy. Rentals can be super cheap. You can get extraordinary homes and rentals for a very low price. I'm talking three to 400 US a month 
on certain times of the year. Like these are, I'm not talking like shitty places. These are nice places. These are super nice places. However, they, the price can skyrocket up to 12, 13, or even 1500 a month during the on season. So off season, they're super cheap. You can find some really amazing places if you visit Thailand then. Healthcare quality in Thailand is world class. It's world renowned. People from all over the world will come to Thailand to get a lot of surgeries. I know in Bali, a lot of people will go to Thailand for a lot of surgeries, like cosmetic surgery and things like that, as well as other things. There are resources and there are a few specialists there that are just top of the line. Street food safety. Now, the food is delicious everywhere in Thailand you go. Like they're known for their food and there's so much variety. However, you might want to just double check and just look, take a look at the surroundings around the actual vendor to make sure that the hygiene is up to par. You might want to skip it if it doesn't look quite right. Just keep in mind, you could get a sore tummy if you don't check the hygiene. So make sure that, you know, just something to think about if you have a sensitive stomach, right? <laughs> okay, monsoon season is real, guys. The, the monsoon season typically brings heavy rainfall, occasional flooding, particularly in areas prone to flooding like Bangkok and parts of Central Plains. Travel disruptions and infrastructure damage can occur. Like these are severe storms. They're just not a regular storm. They're, they can be quite brutal. So just keep a heads up. You might not want to go in during typhoon season. If you do, just keep that in mind. Wildlife encounters. Thailand's diverse ecosystems are home to various wildlife species, including snakes, monkeys, insects. While encounters with wildlife are generally rare in urban areas, visitors should exercise caution when exploring nature reserves in rural regions. Actually, monkeys were, when I was there, were quite aggressive. They can get really aggressive if you feed them, so don't feed those monkeys. So mosquito-borne illnesses. Thailand is prone to mosquito-borne illnesses such as dengue, fever, and malaria. So particularly during the rainy season, travelers should take precaution by using insect repellent, wearing long sleeves and pants, and sleeping under mosquito nets, especially in rural areas. There is vaccines for dengue as well. Um, if your country offers it, you might want to get that as well. And that's it. That's this. That's a wrap. That's things you didn't know about Thailand. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.